Breaking news, a high-profile murder case ends with a guilty plea. Frank Dennis admits to killing Joe Kopp and burying him in the backyard of his Seven Hills home. The plea deal comes as a surprise in a case that's seen a number of twists. Good evening, I'm Lee Jordan. And I'm Danita Harris. Dennis agreed to the plea just over an hour ago. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska was the only local television reporter in the courtroom. And Paul, you talked exclusively with Frank Dennis's wife. She's been wanting to talk with us uh, for a while here at News Channel 5. We finally got a chance to do that. You know, Frank Ziennis kept turning down these plea offers all along, saying he was going to claim self-defense and prove it at his upcoming trial scheduled for November 14th. There will be no trial now where he could have faced life in prison. That's because late this afternoon, just an hour ago, his wife tearfully pleaded with her husband in the courtroom to take the final plea offer, and Frank Ziennis listened this time, pleading guilty to murdering Joe Kopp and burying Cop's body in Deanna's Seven Hills backyard last March. Cop will be sentenced 16 years to life next Tuesday, eligible for parole at age 61. Frank Deanna's wife told me after court that her condolences go out to Cop's family and the community. She said Cop threatened her and unplugged her oxygen tank when Frank tried to evict Cop, who is living with them. Char said Deanna's, Char Deanna said Frank told her Killing cop was self defense, and she said her husband should have called 911 immediately instead of telling her what happened a month later. For me, I just want this tragedy to be over, for the community to heal, for the cops to have closure, Paul and his sisters. You know, Frank has some accountability in this. He did bury the body. He panicked. And we'll hear more from Frank Yes, his wife, uh, Char, coming up at 6 o'clock. In fact, you'll hear what she has to say about Joe Cobb, who had been going around telling neighbors that Frank Dennis was responsible for killing Amy Mahalovic in Bay Village all those years ago. Reporting live from the Justice Center, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.